Indeed, this year our, our key topic is, uh, is uh, China investing you know, in the new normal. Um, and the new normal for the government, I think, means a more sustainable, more balanced uh, kind of growth and higher quality growth. Uh, but I think this year we are still in that transition where China has to cope with a slowing economy um, and also deal with the high leverage issue that uh, still means a a lot of risk in the system and at the same time I think they need to uh, manage to reorient the economy to uh, you know more consumption more services uh, oriented uh, sectors um, so we think that the government actually are is doing a, a decent job it's a lot of challenges at very difficult times what they have been doing of course is to uh, actually speed up some of the reforms at the same time they are also tackling the local government debt issue they're cutting interest rate, they're trying to support growth while at the same time not to you know, go back to the, to the same route. So it, 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 uh, it's so far, that I think the measures are reducing some of the risk. Uh, of course, they're still there, they're still trying to manage it. Um, and uh, I, th I think the uh, clients, our investors, are, are seeing some of the positive development as well. A lot of the issues still remains for our clients. For example, you know the risk in the in the financial system, especially as the economy slows. Uh, but this year, a question that is, uh, you know, pro probably more prominent is on the fiscal side, with the government tackling the local uh, debt issues and trying to constrain their their budget spending. The concern is, uh, will that uh, impact negatively on infrastructure spending and therefore on growth? Um, and the second uh, set of issues is uh, more on the monetary front with uh, inflation coming down and with globally with you know the Fed probably about to tighten monetary policy how is that going to you know affect uh, China's monetary policy will the central bank and when will they cut interest rate and cut reserve requirements these I think these are you know issues that uh, clients are uh, very focused on